Good morning, NHCS family and friends. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Please join me as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and visible with liberty and justice for all. I think Fenway wanted to join us. Hey, Fenway, quiet down, please. All right, it's challenging some mornings to be a puppy mom. All right, so we did the Pledge of Allegiance. On with the quote. Always be the first-rate version of yourself instead of the second-rate version of someone else. Let me read that one more time. Always be the first-rate version of yourself instead of the second-rate version of someone else. That means you take care of you. When you uh, come into my office, sometimes we talk about that, that you own your behavior, you own your choices, um, and so make the best of it. You have a smart brain, um, so use that smart brain. Again, we have no birthdays to celebrate today, so let's move on to the joke. The, jo the joke says, how does a cucumber become a pickle? It goes through a jarring experience. Our word of the day is vigilant. Vigilant means carefully observant or attentive. Eric was vigilant in double checking his math work before passing in his test. My words of advice, well, as you can see, uh, this morning's a challenging morning here in my household. Um, trying to figure out the routine in the morning, uh, cause again, if I take a shower, Fenway howls and, and yells. Um, if we feed him first and then I try to take a shower, um, the howling, the yelling still continues. I thought I'd try my video first today. Well, as you can see, uh, Fenway joined us for the Pledge of Allegiance. So we're still trying to figure out our mornings here um, with the puppy. Uh, my question of the day, would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Let me read that one more time. And I am sure wondering what Fenway's getting into out in my living room. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Uh, for me, it would definitely be reading because there are different ways that you can speak. Um, you can speak by using sign language. You can speak by using body language. There are even devices now, technology, that help people speak. So um, I think I would rather lose the ability to speak. But how about you? All right, uh, we'll have a thankful Thursday. Uh, wish me luck today in my adventures of being a puppy mom with a very active puppy this morning. Um, we will pull our one book, one school grand prize winners this afternoon when uh, I have someone to videotape the drawings with me. And so we will post that uh, by dinner time today. All right, I hope I loved, I got a couple uh, dance-off videos yesterday, so I loved um, some of those. So people have definitely increased our the dance that we submitted, my family submitted. Um, uh, so it's gotten better. Um, there are amazing props that are happening, but I can't wait to see more. So uh, it was a good start. Uh, to getting some videos, but can't wait to get more videos. If you're having a tough time downloading the video, uh, reach out to our ICT teacher, uh, Miss Roman, and hopefully she can help with that. Alrighty, have a great morning.